What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have another WWE Elite figure review for you guys and it is on the brand new Series 58 Matt Hardy and Braun Strowman. Yeah. Yeah. Before we get into the review, guys, if you would like to pick either of these figures up, go over to ringsidecollectibles.com, use the promo code MDTOYS, you will save yourself 10%, best place to get your figures, but now that we've covered that, let's get into the review. Alright guys, getting straight into things, as you see, we have Matt Hardy on the left and Braun Strowman on the right. I was very, very hyped to get Matt Hardy, I don't know what everybody's deal is about this figure, I think it looks absolutely great and fantastic and just super awesome, I can't wait to get you open. And then this figure over here, I was hyped for it, but I wasn't like, you know, I gotta have this thing, because the head scan, I feel like should be more angry, but we're gonna talk about that later on. But flipping the boxes around guys, as you know, we always have our nice pictures of the superstars on the back. Braun Strowman here, and you see how he's like pissed off right here? That's more of what I would like to see, but uh, I like Matt Hardy looking great. If you'd like to read these bios, you can pause it now. Got the rest of the figures in the wave, and that about does it for the boxes, guys. So let's go ahead and crack them hoes open. And here we have Matt Hardy and Braun Strowman out of their packaging looking fan-freaking-tastic. I'm super, super excited for both of these figures. They are my favorite figures in the wave. They were my most desired, in my opinion. I think that both of them look absolutely great. At first, you know, I said that I didn't want to pick up this Braun because the head scan wasn't my favorite. But upon further investigation, I really am digging it. I cannot wait to take a detailed look at both of these guys. What we're going to do first is take a closer look at both of their accessories. Then we'll cover Matt Hardy, and then we'll cover Braun Strowman. So getting into the accessories guys, first with Braun Strowman we have this beautiful ambulance door. I think this is a great accessory to include. You know this is supposed to be from his match with Roman Reigns, the ambulance match at Great Balls of Fire I believe it is and um, I am digging this accessory. I am loving this. I love random weapon accessories. I wish it would have been like a build a freaking ambulance set or something like that but um, one can only dream. I'm loving the detail we get on the inside of this. I feel like this does look like an ambulance door. If anything, maybe scale it just a little bit bigger, but I do like this thing. You got the orange paint, says Lance on it in blue, obviously, and Bu will be on the other side, but um, I am loving this. I think this is great. You got the hinges on there. You got the little, uh, the uh, sort of like a little uh, hole here where you would hook a rope or anything to, you know, tow the thing or got this little silver paint going on right here for the door um, to open it and this is just dope you know we get a missing window which kind of sucks it'd be cool if it could have been breakaway or something that's the only thing I'd probably add but this is a dope accessory I love the matte white look and this is just very cool I'm loving that accessory and here we have the raw tag team championship and I gotta say I love this belt in figure form I love the shiny silver they use on the plates and of course your red strap and <laughs> Are you kidding me? What in the freaking Skippy McDams is that right there? Ah! Look at this tear! Look at that tear right there in the strap. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Come on, Brad. Uh, back to back days, back to back little faulty mechanisms in our figures or accessories. Look at that right there. Anyways, it is a great championship. I do look like, look at that silver sheen. How are you going to beat that? That looks fantastic. Even though we got a rip in it. Ah! Jesus Christ. But, um, yeah, great, great accessories with both these guys, even though one of them has a tear. Ah! So taking a closer look at Matt Hardy, guys, I think this looks fantastic. Look at this head scan and tell me that you don't like this head scan. I think the likeness is there. I think it captures Matt Hardy beautifully. I think it looks wonderful and it looks delightful and everything else that Matt Hardy says. I think this looks beautiful and I am definitely not going to delete this head scan. I think it looks great. I am a big fan of it so uh, hit on this guy. Bruh. You disrespectful, stupid idiot. And I think that this hair piece looks fantastic too. I think it's a good representation of the hair of Matt Hardy. Got the blonde streaks going through. And again, just fantastic. I don't know why anybody would hate on this head scan. Going down, got the Bo Dallas body mold looking great. I love this body mold for Matt Hardy. I think it works great for Jeff as well. Going down into the arms, we have the long white wrist tape on the sides as Matt Hardy always rocks. And going down into the beautiful pants right here, we have this great 
green color and I'm loving the way this looks on the figure. I think it pops off beautifully. We got some uh, gold and black painted in there. I would have liked to see the stitching or the molding sculpted in there, but um, I can be a fan of the gold and black paint job. I love the way that looks. Going around, got the pockets and the studs and everything. This is just beautiful. I love the green color. I think it pops off amazingly. I love all of the stripes going down here. Everything is just Fan freaking awesome tastic sauce. I love this. Yeah. So uh, you got kick kick pad feet at the bottom in the black, but um, yes, these pants are awesome. This Matt Hardy is beautiful, and let's get into some comparisons. So here's a shot of all the Matt Hardys in my collection, starting with Team Extreme on the far left, going into the Ruthless Aggression Era, and then up to about now. Here's WrestleMania 33 and the current Elite 58 figure. And I cannot wait for the new SummerSlam Elite that is coming out. It will fit beautifully right into this collection here. I want to get a Team Extreme official Mattel Hardy. This is obviously a custom that I got from Showstopper Custom Figs. But as you see, all of these Matt Hardy figures are amazing. We need more Matt Hardys, man. They look absolutely incredible and I am loving them all side by side here you see the two comparisons here it is a new head scan if anybody thought it was the same head scan it is different I like the yelling expression and I like the smiling I think both of them work great for Matt Hardy and I am loving all the pants I love all three of these colors um, the new one is white and silver and black so that will look nice as well cannot wait for that but now let's look at something else and here's a shot of Matt Hardy up next to brother Nero and to end it off, Matt Hardy, guys, here's a shot of him up next to the official Trash Corbin. So getting into Braun Strowman, guys, here is the head scan here with him yelling. And if you're looking at it, this is what I was talking about. It looks like he's at the dentist or something. So you see, like, he's not angry at all. There's no, like, sculpted, uh, you know, skin right here or something to make him look pissed off. It's just like he has his mouth wide open. I'm not going to say this, though. He does look like Braun Strowman. Like, this captures Braun Strowman's likeness very much. I think it looks just like him. I think the beard looks a bit weird. I don't know what it is. It just kind of looks like it comes out wide. It doesn't look too bad or anything. It's just something to take note of. It just kind of looks a little bit off. Spinning the head scan around, you will see that we do get the same shaved on the sides. Long ponytail hair in the middle here, like Aleister Black looking great. More effing paint chipping. Look at this. More paint chipping right there. Come on now, Brad. So as we spin it back around. Going down into the torso, it's the same torso we have had with Braun in the past. Same arms, same everything. Baby little hands right there. Um, I hate when they do that. They gotta fix that. They had it with the first Elite. They just gotta go back and get it done. Um, spinning them around here as you see the back. And going down into the pants, guys, these are fantastic. There's a lot of sculpted detail in here. Um, they have made up for the last Braun Strowman. They, I thought these were the same pants mold with a brand new head scan, but it is actually, we got newer paint apps. I'm loving the camo detail in the belt loops and in the pockets on the back here. As you will see, we get the little Braun Strowman logo right here or whatever that is. I don't know really what that is. But as you can see, it is all sculpted. Like this little uh, piece here is sculpted on. We get some more sculpted detail over here. More sculpted detail on the back. These patches and stuff. And I'm loving the way they look. Um, that is so beautiful. It's the same paint job as Elite 52. But it has more sculpted detail. And actually, as I took a closer look. I love the little ripped up details down here on the knee. But um, as I took a closer look and like turned it to the side. Um, I'll show you in a second. The lower leg mold is actually completely different. So we'll get into that. And then he has his standard black boots but this figure um, is absolutely an upgrade from the elite 52 so as you can see here with the comparison with the elite 52 guys the new elite 58 is much taller as you can see as i spin it around here you will see that the leg molds are completely different like these are completely taller and just look a lot better in my opinion and you can see the sculpted detail in the legs just this was just flat and then they sculpted all those patches on the new elite 58 i am loving this new figure again the only gripe i can really have is the small hands and then of course the uh non-angry face scan it's just sort of him opening his mouth i don't like that again i'm sorry i keep bringing it up but that is a big deal to me however it is a fantastic figure and here's a shot of all three braun Strowman's mattel has released so far and i love all three of them to their own i hate the head scan right here it has no likeness to braun Strowman at all i need to pop my uh, basic head scan from one of my basic braun Strowman's on there to complete the look but um i am digging it i think that the uh the elite 44 is actually taller than the elite 52 which i didn't know till just now but it is cool to see all these Braun Strowman's lined up. And here we have the new Braun Strowman up next to the official Trash Corbin. 
But yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this review. Thank you so much for watching. If you missed out on the bar review that we did yesterday on the Elite Series 58 Sheamus and Cesaro figures, go check that out on the channel. It is up right now. Go check it out. If you don't have a Matt Hardy figure in your collection, guys, you got to grab this one. If you love Matt Hardy at all, you got to grab this one. It's a perfect rendition of Matt Hardy, in my opinion. And I think that if you like Matt Hardy at all, you got to grab this. If you're missing a Raw Tag Team Championship, go grab this thing, man. It comes with one. Buy two. You have a pair right there. This Braun Strowman is fantastic. Cannot wait to see some people do some customization and get this thing to look absolutely perfect. It is the best Braun Strowman we have gotten so far. It's better than the Elite 54. It's better than Elite 52. It is the best Braun Strowman up to date. And if you missed out on the first two Braun Strowman releases, you gotta go grab this thing, guys. It is a great figure, absolutely. But that's gonna do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for more epic WWE, WWE figure-related videos, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.